was gonna open the video by planning tonight what I was gonna do tomorrow, but yeah, I've lost the tip of my pen. I have no idea how that happened, but I guess there's no planning now. So, <laughs> see you in the morning. These videos are a good compromise among uni, work and YouTube, so here's another one. Today I woke up at 6.20, I had my breakfast and I hit the gym at 7am to avoid the looks of those who can actually lift more than the weight of a small puppy. When I got out the sun had risen, so I enjoyed it for a bit, and on Fridays I don't have class until 12pm so I got back home and started working. The first item on today's list is to start greyboxing a small scale version of the map that I've already designed. I'll make it an RPG overworld map style scene to figure out where all the POIs are gonna be in the world and here I'm using a stylized house to represent them all but this is totally temporary and it's gonna be changed soon. Okay, so in a game based around its map I cannot really show you what the map will look like so I kinda blurred it here but I've started sketching out the layout of things. It's obviously just a prototype. I need this to plan things. It's not the final game. You will not see this in the final game, but this is what has held me back for one year now. I was too lazy to do this. And the fact that I'm doing it might be a good sign. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> So yeah, I really did what can be considered the 3D equivalent of vomiting, but this is just a starting point, so stay tuned to see how this develops. Now, if you've been following the development of The Last Day of Summer, you'll recall that nature and vegetation are a huge part of the game, so I need to strategize on how to take on them. But it's 10am now, it's a gorgeous day, so I think I'll go do this at the park to catch a breath of fresh air. I think I owe you an explanation of what this is and yeah, since I plan to populate the scenes with a huge variety of nature props, plants, trees, grass and everything, I need to figure out what the base models will be, how to keep them simple so that I as a solo dev can tackle this problem. And yeah, so I divided every kind of uh, nature asset that I can think of in categories and kind of planned how to uh, make each and every one of them both in terms of geometry like this and scale that is gonna play a huge role into this and now it's about time I go to class so I'll have a quick lunch and I'll see you in a few hours After a few hours of lessons, I decided I'd spend some time on Pinterest looking for inspiration and researching some forest flora and palettes to then move on to the big action of the day. Porting my stylized triplanar terrain shader to the built-in render pipeline since I decided to ditch Unity's universal render pipeline. Of course my phone died while recording but here's a bad example of what it looks like and here's a way better example from an old video in this series. And that's the end of the day, and apart from keeping on putting off making the UI for my dialogue system better, I got most of what I set up to do done, and I'm pretty happy with it. So thank you for watching, if you're still here, please consider engaging with the video to support the channel, and as always, I've been Pita, you've been great, and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.